in this video, I'll break down how you can easily set up kick streaming on your OBS. And it's very straightforward. And it's one of the best ways you can actually optimize your OBS for your kick streams. Now, let's be honest, when it comes to streaming on kick and YouTube, it is actually very straightforward to do. In fact, when you log into your account, which is very automated over on OBS, and once you actually do that, obviously pop up all these nice panels, basically does give you all the information you really need when it comes to streaming. Well, when it comes to kick on OBS, there's nothing like that just yet. Now, there are any OBS out there that actually does have that is Streamlabs OBS. But of course, Streamlabs OBS is a bit of a love-hate relationship with me right now. But here's how you can actually easily set up OBS for your kick streams, and it's very straightforward. Now, first is, of course, to set up your stream key on your OBS. Now, the easiest way to actually set this up is to go to your kick dashboard, go to the channel icon, then go to the stream URL and key. And then you're obviously going to paste those on your OBS. Now, once you are done with that, you're basically done with the main part. Now, of course, when it comes to some of the settings, they are basically the same from my past videos, but one of the main differences is the bitrate. Now, when it comes to streaming on kick, and you are doing the likes of 1080p at 60 FPS on kick, the bitrate that they allow is up to 8,000 kilobits per second, which is, it's a big jump compared to the likes of Twitch. So yes, you will actually get more quality and better quality streams over on kick compared to the likes of Twitch. But I do recommend to do anywhere between from 6,000 to 8,000. And of course, if your internet doesn't allow that, do go a little bit less, but obviously, but obviously do make sure you have a little bit of a wiggle room when it comes to obviously your streams. But now once you are done with that, you're basically done with the main part of setting up OBS for your kick streams. But how do you add some of the panels? Now, this is actually very straightforward. And this is obviously one of the best ways you can actually do this is when you go to your kick dashboard, you'll see that most of your different panels has three little dots. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to, you're going to click those dots, you're going to say pop out, which obviously will pop out into a different tab. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to copy the tabs URL, then you're going to go over to your OBS, you're going to go to docs, go to custom browser docs, and this is where you can basically say the doc name, which I'll save for the likes of kick chat. Then I'm going to paste the URL into the URL section. Now, once you've done that, you can say apply, and that'll give you the little panel where it will show you the likes of your chat, or if you want to do it, you can also do it where you can show the likes of your stream information, your subs, your alerts, and so much more. And that's basically the best way you can actually add panels to the likes of your OBS. And I'll definitely say it's a really useful thing to have these panels on your OBS. But now let's talk about alerts, because of course, you wanna have some alerts when you have new followers over on your kick streams. Well, Stream Elements does in fact allow you to actually get alerts for your kick streams. And obviously it's very straightforward to do. And of course, when you do the customization for your alerts for custom sounds, or even doing some cool little effects for each follower, it's obviously very endless. And there's so many tutorials of how you can actually easily do this stuff with Stream Elements. But once you're actually done with that, you are basically Basically ready for your kick streams. And I'll definitely say, so far with my kick experience, I've actually been seeing some good growth, especially over on kick. Now, I definitely want to give a little advice for those that are wanting to start streaming on kick is when you actually go to the likes of your kick dashboard, go to the channel actions and go to account age restriction. And I'll definitely recommend to say at least one day. And this is actually going to be very helpful to basically avoid any bots spamming in your chat because that's one of the main big issues over on kick right now. But otherwise, I hope this video actually helped you out when it comes to setting up kick on your OBS. But otherwise, hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next one. Be safe as always. And if you want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments below. But I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys next one. Bye.